Hi everybody. Welcome to Jana's Crochet Journey. Today is Friday, December 9th, 2022. Welcome back everyone who returns and watches my videos and comments. It's pretty neat when I see your name that like I feel like, hey, I know her. And then it's cool to see somebody's name who's just joined your family. So today's video I'm going to try not to make long. I wanted to show some things I received and then do some project updates but um, if the video gets too long then I'll just make a separate video for tomorrow or Sunday. I know with so many Vlogmas videos going on, I'm trying to keep track of everybody. Um, you know, while I'm at work, I work with my headphones and I play people's videos to try to catch up, but then I'm like running to my phone so I can see what you're showing and, you know. Just trying to show support for people in this community because you guys are great. All right. Um, first thing I'm going to show just about every Saturday, unless something comes up, D from D's Creative Hands um, does a live and she uses Nightbot and draws winners for things. So, I don't know if it was last Saturday or Saturday before, I my name came up. So I won, I believe she was calling it um, a sparkle bag for good reason. <laughs> and so I received that in the mail yesterday or the day before. I can't remember. So in the bag was um, Mary Maxim Pound of Sparkle. Um, it's a four medium and there's 1067 yards. And this is the color T E I N T U R E. Um, oh, wait. Maybe it's sand. I think it's sand. We'll go with the sand. And then, yep. So you can see the sparkle. So that's pretty. Set this down here in a box. And then the second thing I received was, well, second and third is red and white and you can catch some of the sparkle and this she got from Ollie's and it's called Red Heart hmm I had to tape it something sparkadoodle I don't remember it's uh I had the tape over it so it's hard to see but it's a super bulky six so that would make some nice trim. Um, I've never used this before. So I don't know if that's something for like a trim on a blanket or to, if it's easier to put it with another yarn. I'll have to look up some videos for that. And then she had pom-pom makers there's a 1 8 inch or a 45 millimeter and 1.2 inch 30 millimeter diameter and 2.4 so I got those I've never used those either so that'll be another video <laughs> but I think it would be cool to make a bunch of pom-poms. I actually saw 
a live video two days ago for um, a girl that she bought a round styrofoam ring Ugh. words and um, she made pom-poms and she covered it like a wreath and I think I want to try that she used the Sesame Street live characters from the hats and I have several of those and I wasn't really feeling the squares with the little heads wobbling all over the place so I think that would be a great idea so that I could hang those or give them to my daughters uh, to hang in their kids' nurseries and bedrooms. So that'll be a future. And this is a thank you card from Dee. And she signed it from Dee and Mark. Which is nice because sometimes her hubby comes into the camera. And there was this bag where you could you know put all kinds of stuff in there good size has the box bottom and then she stuck another bag in there and this says enjoy the little things and we most definitely have to there's that. And then the last thing is this pouch, which you could use with the bag. And she put in some needles for weaving and ends and a bunch of stitch markers. You can never have enough stitch markers, which some of these projects, I should have stuck one in there and a handmade label and then she takes these threaders and puts the buttons on them so they're easier to use which I've never used one of these um, you know and for the old arthritis that would be good and then these cool scissors and they has the uh, safety thing on there can never have enough scissors and the funny thing is I got excited for the tape measure because I don't have one so that's awesome I need to get some more of those so thank you D I appreciate it. Love your lives. Can't wait for tomorrow night for the next one. All right. And then um, I don't have them to show, but Kelly Totoris sent two outfits. One for my grandson that was born in September and then another one for my grandson that is due in February. And those already went... To my girls and you know they were very thankful they couldn't believe that someone that I don't even know but that watches my channel and has become a friend would send a gift for their kids and so yeah that was pretty awesome so thank you Kelly I appreciate it um, The next thing, not yarn related, but I can't think of the name of the company. Oh, I was going to look it up and then I got sidetracked. Let me see if the invoice, I don't know if it's, it, is it one day savings? Ugh. I can't remember. I'll have to look it up and put it in the description somewhere. But 
Terry from Yarn Joy Podcast shows her diamond bead paintings. And I have one that, I don't know if I can find it, but I wanted to get some because they were having a really good Black Friday deal. So I did pick up several and you really can't see the pictures and I'm not tech savvy like Terry to pop in pictures. I don't, I mean, I probably have the programming, but I don't know how to use it. I need like a tutorial. Um, and I don't know if you can see the little picture. Probably from the glare. But, so I got several of those. Just trying to see if there's one that might have a good picture. I don't know. I thought they'd be cool for like the kids' nurseries and um, my granddaughter's bedroom. Like my daughter had elephants for my first grandson. So like this one has a picture of an elephant. So I thought that would be cool to do that, frame it for his nursery. Um, just several. And they come with all the beads. And so the one thing I did order that wasn't a diamond painting was this. Um, so instead of doing one bead at a time, this is the handle. And I thought that was really cool looking. And you put different heads on the top. If you have, you know, three or five beads of the same color in a row, instead of doing one at a time, this, ooh, oh, it's taped. <laughs> this has... Like those are the little washers. But then this has the little heads where you could pick up three or four at a time and just different attachments depending on what you needed. So I thought that was cool. Something, you know, to do it a little faster. I probably have to look up specifically what each one is for. But for Black Friday, I thought, why not? And the handle was cool and it's thicker. So hopefully it won't bother my hand too much. So there's that. Um, so, and another thing is I am starting to gather my colors for Sophie's Universe, which a lot of podcasters and crafty friends are going to be doing starting in January. And looking through my yarn, so for the four weight, I'm not, I'm not sure if it's the biggest size, like I didn't order the book. If you go on her website, Deidre Ace, um, you can go on there and you can click each week and it brings up the pattern and you can even save each one to your laptop or you can print it. So I've printed the first set and in using a four weight for the main color, it says you need 3,266 yards. That's a lot. So I was looking through. Um, I do have like a lot of 
um, mill ends, but you just don't know how many yards are there. So I figured I better go with something that I can actually do the math and make sure I have enough. Um, yeah, and you're, you're always just a little shy of what you need. So I'm putting a call out there. It's on my community tab, but unless you're someone that checks people's community tabs, you just don't know, you know, when people are looking for something. So I, at the Hobby Lobby sale, I got Crafter's Secret Big Idea. Originally $9.99. I got it for $2.49. I bought two of this color, which is Hot Rose. And I got a third one in a mystery box. And these are 810 yards. So I have three. Which is still not enough. So I have a call out that I need one more. It would still be a little shy, like by 20 yards or something, which I'm not worried about. Because if I get to that point, then, you know, maybe I could swap something out, a section for a different color if I knew I wasn't going to have enough. But for the most part, I would like my main color to be this hot rose. So, if any of you grabbed one at the Hobby Lobby clearance, um, you can send me an email. It's johnamiller73 at yahoo.com or comment on my community page. Um, and, you know, I'll buy it off you, pay for the shipping through PayPal or Venmo. So, you know, I can use this color in my Sophie's universe. If for some reason I can't get a fourth one, then I'll still use those three as my main color. But when it comes down to the end, if I have to pick another pink that's similar, then I'll do it. Not a problem. So there's that. And where am I at? 17. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to end it here. I will do a separate video for my projects. Um, I just wanted to get this out there so that I could start getting stuff put away. Because when you're looking for yarn for projects and things messes happen and then you got to go to work or make dinner or do laundry or just sit on your butt and crochet and things are a little messy so I need to put this stuff away and get a little more tidy where you can't see and then I got to go to work so uh, again thank you all for watching when there's so many other people you could be looking at and uh, I appreciate it. If you would, like, subscribe, share, comment if you want to. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.